Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry profile where you can look at all the patterns I have on offer and possibly get one to knit up yourself. If you do decide to knit one, I would love to hear about it. You can either chat with me in the comments below or also in the description below, you can find a link to my, you, my uh, Facebook channel channel <laughs> i'm messing this all up my facebook group that i started for this channel it is a private facebook group which means or closed which means that you'll have to request to join it but i'll approve you and then we can share pictures and chat about whatever knitting related things that we'd like to today i have for you another shop with me video as i went this past summer on a little bit of a book tour to support my book mosaic and lace knits i went to multiple different stores to do trunk shows book signings Signings. And whenever I was at the store, if it was a new store that I haven't shown you guys before, I made one of these videos. They seem to go over well because there's nothing as fun as looking at yarn stores. The one I have for you today was the second one I visited. It's called Mobile Yarn in Mobile, uh, Alabama. I apologize for anyone from that area if I'm mispronouncing it. I don't know if it's mobile or mobile or <laughs> whatever, but it is way down south and it's kind of hot down there, but they have a beautiful yarn store to go to. This one is really fun because it really exemplifies these first two I went to, how different yarn stores can really be. Um, yet how amazingly each yarn store owner makes a store space work for their clientele. Um, this one is more of a, uh, what do I want to call jewel box? It's, it's a small space that the owner Heidi has maximized to its absolute potential. Sometimes you can't get a big space, so you just, you know put yarn everywhere. And those, I really, I like all kinds of yarn stores and these smaller yarn stores that are just packed to the gills are fun for me because they're almost like little treasure hunts. I feel like, um, I'm going into Bilbo Baggins's house and going through all the amazing things that are in there. So I, you know what, I like yarn stores of all kinds. And if there's one thing that this trip taught me and just going into all these stores, bang, 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 that there's so many different ways to, to do it. But when it comes down to it, it's all about the yarn. So I hope you enjoy this shop with me video. I am very confident that if you see anything that tickles your fancy or you want to know more about that, you can contact Heidi at Mobile Yarn and she would be happy to hook you up. I do know that she does online sales. And if you have any questions, please chat with me in the comments below. And here we go. I am here, it's a little bright out at Mobile Yarn, Mobile Yarn in Mobile, Alabama, and I'm gonna take you inside so you can see how cute this little store is. I have taken over the store yet again. Here you can see Tammy Amy Trail right at the beginning, and I wanna get a scan. So this is a little jewel box of a store, very cozy, but crammed to the absolute gills with great stuff. She's got a lot of really cute baskets and yarn just positively everywhere. You can see there's the sandpiper socks. And these are cute. You know those little hats that they make with the little heads on top? Well, here's the newer version. Look at this. It's like a little backpack with the kitty head and stuff. So very cute. And you can get bear versions of it. And this is really cool. Look at this beautiful. So in the South, we knit with a lot of cotton and this cotton is super beautiful. It is called Chippies. Isn't that cool? And it comes in all of these amazing colors. So that is super cool. I like that she has it right here. I think the idea of a cotton granny square blanket is fabulous. And more cool baskets. Here's Love Child hanging up with the baskets, some 
really nice kobasi. And again, kobasi is a cotton, bamboo, and silk. We've got some Rios and the Rios right here. Look, so, you know, ring the Gax in Rios. Wouldn't that be amazing in the Anniversario colorway? Isn't that gorgeous? I would love to see that. Love and Leche lotion bar is always good. And there's the pinwheel market bag. We've got Caladan over here because there's some Malabrigo sock. Look at these super cool from Wonderland Yarns. Look what it says. It says 128 yards per one ounce. So this is 640 yards. This would be fabulous for like bitter blue. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bitter blue would be awesome in that. And then I hung up Ready Player One and Fun Run here. And there's, look, look at all this yarn. There's just yarn absolutely everywhere and samples and just, it would take forever. You know, this is the kind of store that you just come into and just look and look and look because there's so much awesome stuff. And then here's the other side. Let me back up a little bit. I, it's hard for me to get far enough away. Look at all this yarn. I put... Fractured helix and vests on the end cap. Gina, I, you know, I once designed right here. Gina, see, look at this nice. It's a cool Plymouth color changing yarn. And I designed, it's called the um, ziggurat scarf in that, which was really cool. And then I put Rippus up there. And I really, so I hung on Mulberry Street here because I thought it would work beautifully in this cotton yarn. I've never seen this cotton. Look how beautiful that is. And that is this green. It's the, um, isn't this the Pantone color of the year? It's such a bright springy green, but I think it would look, I think on Mulberry Street would look fantastic in this mercerized cotton. And it would be a nice light accessory. And it comes in these really great colors. And then I'm going to come around the corner and surprise Heidi, the owner. She's working on something. And look at these cool mobiles. The mobiles in mobile. Mobile. <laughs> Best mobile in mobile. Excellent. And so I put some hats up. And we've got this fun little treasure chest thing going on here. Is this our our search? What are we? Yarn me hardies? <laughs> the treasure map. Excellent. And so we've got this nice comfy area for us to knit in. And she's leaning on the cush job pillow, which is great. <laughs> and I've got, there's La Dame Blanche. And then here's more yarn. Look at this. It's just the yarn keeps coming. Some nice big squishy yarn. And she carries Zoe. See, now look, this is actually exactly, look there. Uh, fins, this little scarf, it's a little summer scarf, was designed in the Zoe. And we've got some more Juniper Moon Farms. A whole bunch. Look, I, uh, look at that. This is Vulcan in Michita. Oh, so pretty. And then up there, hey, isn't that cool? I liked, I, what I did is I've told people it's like a, a an egg hunt and they got to just walk around and see what all the, where all I've stashed all my different patterns. This is a yarn that I have never seen before. It's super cool. It's called Unique and it's got a really nice multi strand structure. It's nice and bouncy. I bet it would make great cables. And it's got some really cool color combinations. Let me pull another one out. Come from Fezza. Fezza? Okay. Look at that. Look at the purple. It's amazing. And then this one up here. Look at that. It's a super wash merino. It's such a cool yarn. I want to play with that. We got some... I hung earthbound right next to it because these trendsetters, these gradients, I think they would work great if you wanted to make a cotton version of that. And then there is She Made, and she had to do some modifications because it's DK weight, but she used Dos Tierras to make a version of Isochronal Arc. So there's her version, and there's my version. Isn't that fun? And then, oh, the fiber seed seedlings. I love these little guys. 
and our notions wall and then I put my rack right here with all my different samples and then we've caught I uh, yeah I don't even know what you do with this <laughs> he's like I can make a Muppet or something here that's very fuzz I could see it being really fun on cuffs or around a neckline and then I hung the lozenge scarf right here with all the baby alpaca grande because that's where it came from. And we got some chunky yarns. So, oh, look at that. Dream, create, inspire, nurture. It's super cool. So, so that was mobile yarns mobile yarns and it's cute little i taught a class this morning and i'm teaching a class this evening met a lot of lovely knitters and had a lot of fun in this store i hope you enjoyed the shop tour of mobile yarn in mobile alabama if you like this video please give it the thumbs up click that like button and if you would like to be notified whenever i upload a new video please subscribe to my channel and select notifications thank you so much